what is up guys Julian's way here and in this video I just want to share 13 to like 12 days out of the show so basically the videos in the compilation were too long to just do it raw that was my intentions but uh, it would have gone on too long maybe up to almost 30 minutes so I try to just to uh, narrow things down and cut it in and just to put it in a nutshell so that the video would not go on long I know people do not want to sit down and look at a damn long video these days whether it's uh helping or not or whether they're interested so this is basically what it looked like on the next day the 29th uh, 13 days out still coming in lean this was one of my meals i think this was my uh pre or workout or second meal all right uh that's like uh, yard lamb beans and eggs and tuna still doing that not much of a difference all right and uh this was dinner my salad my side bowl eggs and tuna again some broccoli there on the side with some egg whites and uh, it was basically the next day I did an early morning session it was a Monday so this was like uh, about 12 days out of the show just warming up with a bar I haven't done these in like years so I did them only like maybe twice during prep because of discomfort in my uh, AC joint I sprained that a few years ago I think it was doing this you know one arm has to compensate for the other and uh, that's why I prefer the dumbbells. When you fail, you fail at your uh, ability. This here, if one arm is really stronger than the other one and you're trying to go heavy, whether off season or not off season, there is a possibility that the other arm, the weaker arm, cannot take the strain and things could go wrong. All right, so that's why I prefer to go with the dumbbells. Now I hardly uh, did this, but I, <laughs> boy, this was even heavy, you know. Like a plate was a lot for me. A one plate felt like two plates, like 45 pounds felt like 90 pounds because of that energy level like I was doing like low carbs and uh, a lot of carb rotation um, <laughs> when I say carb rotation I forgot the exact word but um carb cycling all right but I do not call it carb cycling I call it rotation because there were days when there were like no carbs all right so um, basically this is how I start off I do it sometimes I go fast I go slow with the inclines with the uh, seated uh, cable fly machines I hold a neutral grip sometimes I hold them like this and I try to focus on that squeeze a lot of people just go through the motion and they do not get results and they wonder why they're uh, up to par with their nutrition and, and why they've been doing this so long and sometimes it you, you've got to be there uh, on every single rep sometimes when you go slow and you, you do negatives on the eccentric you have to freely focus on it through the entire uh, rep when you go slow on the negative so that's why I think it's good to incorporate maybe like uh, I try to do like two sets of those in when I was uh, up during the prep all right so basically just try to focus on the negative and the positive and even give it a longer on the negative so that's what I try to do and I just went back and forth and do as how heavy I can go without feel into risk of injuries you know like i said your your joints are not that uh, saturated your your fat levels are low and your joints cannot push and manage to compensate for that amount of weight so and that whether you're taking a joint here or not it's not gonna be like before so i i try to not take chances and with this uh chest press machine here the seated uh press machine i you can hold it neutral or you can hold it uh overhand underhand and I give these a try sometimes even though I find this more on my triceps depending on how you do them especially if you lock out you're gonna find it's unlocking your triceps but you do feel like uh, your mid inner chest getting hit so every now and then I would incorporate these but I hardly do these like I said because of uh, the triceps activation so there you see me holding it neutral so sometimes I just go up as high as I can and I uh, do a drop set, but not a crazy amount of drop set there. As you can see, I'm not getting a lot of reps. That was heavy for me. And of course, some days your energy levels are going to be higher than some days. Now this here, this underhand fly, whatever you want to call it, I do not cross over fly, cross under flies. Everyone has their own in the makeup and in the fitness industry. So, however people want to call it, these here I find really effective during prep. And, uh, you know, I, I did incorporate these even coming down to the last last week. And I find these are very, very effective. You know, if you're, if you're not doing these, you can give these a try. You don't really need to work on my upper chest and the tie-in. I think this helps with the upper chest and the tie-in on the shoulders. 
and you can do this in a more uh, neutral grip rather than an underhand grip you can just hold the, the cable by themselves without having to place any handle on them moving on to the next exercise you know it does basically this is the more what can I say the regular cable flies the crossover cable flies here holding it in a neutral grip and then turning it internally and doing more of a pressing movement and then I head on to do something that I haven't done for like years to finish off with or like I used to usually do push-ups to warm up kind of like what I do for back day like a lot of pull-ups first but I kind of switch things wrong to get that thickness and in my back I'm trying to work on that and the chest you know I, I just try to go all out and like I was tra training for condition in that size so you know I used to do this with my gym buddy back in the day and we used to like on finishing we used to like race for uh see who can get like 150 reps the fastest and uh, I would usually get my ass kicked so yeah back in the day so but um yeah this is what I decided to do uh during prep and you've got to go all out. If you have one rep left in you and you could have pushed yourself back, you didn't go all out. You've got to either drop, go on your knees, or fall on your chin flat as a pancake. That's how I see it, you know. If you made it to push yourself back, then you did not, did not go all out. You had one more rep. So, I mean, you cannot do that with, uh, that's the advantage about free, uh, free body weight exercises, man. You can go more all out. Then I head on to do this here. Did not do much of these. I did them like this with the machine and then I try them back sorry about the lighting guys and uh just the regular body weight uh, dips like I wasn't gonna risk this here for my uh bringing up back all injury on my AC joint like I said everyone has got to see what works for them but I did do uh maybe a couple of sets of these and they weren't that bad actually but I was already born so I head over to my friend's place and uh he uh, kind of showed me uh, how to do more life of stake. I wasn't good at this. I did do a couple of practice. So I was going to put this in a video separate. Maybe I might still do that. I guess this is uh, pretty simple stuff. You know, you just get your garlic, your seasoning, whatever kind of salt you want to use. And, uh, you know, five minutes with the oil and turn it over five minutes with the butter. Maybe seven, put the garlic in. It's it's pretty it's pretty straightforward really, but you've got to get the the pan right and the cooling right. Let it cool in a plate after and just to keep that succulent. You don't want to leave there um, too long if the stove is high more than like five to six minutes. So while I was cooling down, I it was posing time, so you know I was caught I was caught in a <laughs> in a position. So there there is my leanness. You know his camera is a bit more clean than the one that I use. If you see the filming earlier wasn't that clean. This is a more uh, clean camera and uh, I did my posing here back and forth and yeah that was basically it there and afterwards I managed to uh, got, get some greens in the market and um, basically basic stuff so I, I took up some of his stick to compare it with mine and I did rate it of course his one was a, a little better than my mine. mine came out good better than how I used to but not as good as his so practice and uh, learning you know and this here uh, is meal tree here just some carrots egg white and tuna again and some more greens from the marketplace some cucumbers yard long beans we call it bore here in Guyana and I actually had some watermelon white a little bit of the skin there I wasn't gonna worry about those calories just to like boost my uh, <laughs> So called testosterone, <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, you know, I, w I was really uh, particular and honest about everything that I do. I do not feel it, that I, I, I try to put as much information as here as what I do just to show people like everything was not exactly to a team. Sometimes you've got to go according to how you feel, but you've got to, you've got to uh, suffer. You've got to go through some suffering. So that's his take. And I just had some ginger and I think I did not have garlic. I do not remember. I think that was mostly ginger there. I did add some pepper, some salt, no special uh, salt, and his was kind of different, his setup. So I usually do like four ounces of chicken with like about four ounces of steak after I had prepped it. All right, so instead of doing eight ounces of steak, I just did like four and I try to keep the other four for in, in the morning with maybe with eggs or whatever I decide to do on leg day before. Uh, pre-workout so it was basically I decided to do this just to get a little bit of extra energy I thought this might this might be helpful for a little bit of iron and whatever 
vitamins and minerals and advantages you might get from beef but like I said I did not go too heavy the digestion it's kind of hard and uh, I did not want to overeat and get bloated on the beef the steak nor on the uh, greens like especially things like broccoli that fills you up but it kind of makes you feel at least for me a little bloaty especially when you're not accustomed to eating it all year so that's another thing another thing that I will talk about in a separate video so I basically went on to do the taste test you know it was not as good as his like I said but it was pretty damn good so about four ounces of steak four ounces of chicken and pretty much that was it guys and uh, the taste test so that's it if you made it this far guys please give the video a thumbs up also remember to please like share and subscribe if you haven't hit the bell button for notifications until my next episode guys peace take care and stay safe